Hey guys, how's it going? This is Trafalgar Valentine today. Today I'll be doing a Mazda Cosmo, just like a modified version of one. And I'm just doing this on a canvas for a larger picture, which you'll probably see on my Instagram later if you are curious. And I've already got this uh, black background on the go here, and a few pencil lines, but I'm just going to do this in brush pen. So, I'm just doing the archway now. Which just comes around here. Then, I'm going to do the wheel. Just like so. Then, then to the inside the edge of this wheel. It's quite a thin, deep rim. This is a fiberglass style brush pen I'm using, which is good because it's good for just smooth coverage. So this is the inside of the wheel, like so. Let's continue this archway around. Okay, let's do uh, the headlight. And this is quite a large canvas, so I'm it's a little difficult because I can't move it around, but I'll do my best. So it's just a nice square shape. Then I just need to do the edge all the way around it. Like so. Then let's do the headlights in there. Just like so, and then we can do a little bit of detail with them. So I'm just going to create a darkened edge there. And a few lines going down. Then Start with a grill next. Like so, so it's got this curved edge just on here. Then we should do the lines going across. Keep that same shape, so this is this is the same angle going across. Then bring this up. Just finish this off at the top. Okay, let's get this other headlight in. Okay. 
So again, just a square shape. Just like so. Again, let's do a little bit of shading just on the top. Okay. Then the body's going to come down right across there. This is going to be the chrome bumper. Go right across. Yeah, let's go a few little lights in here. So just these little rectangles. Okay. Um it's got like a front splitter on it. So it comes down at an angle. This angle follows it up. Then let's bring this round. Okay, then let's do few little vents here. Okay, it looks good. So let's bring this bumper up. And I'm a picture reference here, windscreen starts off just above here, like so in the middle. Then the other side. So you can see the angle there, because it's further away, it's more steep, and then because this one's closer to us, it's a little bit more vertical. Then, wing mirror. Then let's bring this right across. Okay. Let's just do a little edge just all the way around it. Let's dip down just there, so I'm just going to smooth it out. Okay, then let's do these side windows. this down well, it looks a little rough now I can clean up a few lines later then let's bring this roof around Whoop. then the rear wheel arch Back down here. Let's bring this wheel down. Then for the door coming down here with the handle. It's a little light there okay i'm quite happy with that 
Now I just need to darken up some of these shadows a bit more, so let's use a bit of a thicker pen for that. This is like a permanent marker, it's a little bit thicker nib. Put a nice thick black shadow there. Then let's do one just at the top. Let's do some on the inside edge to a 3D effect. Okay, let's get a bit more thickness on this wheel. Okay. Make this light just a bit thicker on the lower edge, like so. Then let's make the line on the grill thicker. So you've got nice thick lines on the bottom sections, and then nice thin lines at the top to give that shadow. So again, on these top sections. You can take a single windscreen wiper, a few vents, okay let's do this lower section, Let's shed in these vents. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's get a bit of colour in there. What colour should we do with this today? Uh, my other cards that I've done on this canvas are red and blue. So, hmm. Should do this nice pink colour. How about that? Let's do this pink colour. This is just a Copic marker for this. And I'm just going to colour in a few areas. Leaving out some white areas. I'm going to leave some, uh, these wheel arches a different colour. I might go in with a bit of grey for that. Let's 
So with this coping work I'm using now, I'll probably go into another one afterwards, just for a darker colour. Just like that. This is chrome, so it's going to be a little bit of reflection. A little bit of pink on there. So we a little bit of reflection on these wheels as well. So let's add a little bit of pink. Don't do this completely bumper uh, bonnet. Sorry, in pink. Still want to leave some white highlights in it. Let's try this pink colour. This is another Copic marker. Mm, it's not much different. Let's try another one. Yeah, this one's a bit nicer. This one's a bit darker. So again, not as much as what I did before. Let's add a bit more colours to it. So let's just come around here. So this is just gradually just building up all the different shades. Just around all the different edges. I think that might just do. Gotta be careful not to do too much. Let's get a bit of grey in there as well. Just pulling in these wheels. You just go around where you want to leave the white edges. That's going to be your highlight colours. So you can see there I've got the white edge just around the wheel. Just put on the inside of the light of the window. on this window here okay do around these lights just to emphasize the whiteness over them Let's do a little bit on this grill. I don't want to go all the way up because I want to do a lighter grey. And that little bit of an edge to it. Okay, then. Let's 
just shed all this in and grey. There we are. Okay, um, I know some of this is going to be a bit of blue reflecting the sky, especially some of those chrome areas. Um, I don't know what this blue is going to be like. Yeah, that'll do. So, he is going to be facing the sky, so I'm going to do some blue colours there. Then, just around this rim a bit. Look at these arches. Look at on the lights. And just on this grill bit. I like the purple it's creating, I might do a little bit more on some of these shadows. It's a nice rich purple that. And just a little touch just around these lights, I want to keep that white edge. Just a little bit there. So I'm going from pink to purple to blue with the tints of grey. Then just on this bumper. Maybe it's put a little touch just in these wheel arches. Now we need to need a lighter grey than what I had before. Let's try this little number. Yeah, that's a nice lighter grey. Just doing a few pieces here and there. Yeah, I'm just doing this grill again. So I'll leave it on these lights here. Then just a little bit just in this bumper. Okay, now I just want to do a bit on this uh, bit of blue just to reflect the sky on the windscreen.
I'm just trying something just on this black edge here. I'm not too sure what kind of effect this is going to give or if it's actually going to work. But you'll see what I'm doing in a sec. Okay, why am I doing this, you might ask? Well, I just want to add a bit of an abstract background in the black that's already there. So I've got this wallpaper scraper. And I'm just going to push this paint a little bit into there. And then just smudge this up. Just like so. I don't know why I'm doing this, I just thought it would be a cool effect. I don't question my methods, I just do them. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting effect. I'm not sure how much it will last. Cause this is a 3D fabric paint, so I'm not sure if it might evaporate or not but we'll see what happens let's do a bit of purple just beneath here Again, just using, just pushing it a little bit forward into that white space, and just bring this down. I did this with the other picture, and I like the effects. So that's why I'm doing it now. It wasn't quite like this, but hey, up. Maybe let's be let's be add a little bit on here. I think I might leave it like that for now. I'm not too sure if I'll add anything else, but I think I'll leave it like that. Um, there is something else, maybe. Maybe I could try a bit of fabric paint. Well, a bit of a white marker, just with a few dots. Okay, let's leave it like that. So this has been my Mazda Cosmo. I hope you enjoyed this uh, drawing, guys, and uh, I'll see you later. Goodbye.